Hello everybody and welcome, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video we will learn how to deploy this smart contract to the Ethereum testnet blockchain because we have the mainnet and we have some testnet. So in order to underst understand that part a little bit better, we have here the documentation, the Ethereum documentation in the part of network. So if we go in to the top, we have, well, first of all, the merge is approaching. That's because Ethereum is going to change from proof of work validation to proof of stake. So, well, let's read a little bit. We have the network here, perfect, blah, blah. We have the Ethereum mainnet, the principal one, and we have the Ethereum testnet because we have like many testnet so we can choose which one do you we, we do we want to use we have first of all the sepolia one the sepolia is kind of a nice option but but when i opened the web page the web page was off was down so i say okay i think this is like a signal that it's not a good option you know so well we have here the girly one the girly has a big community and if you open the website Hey, the website is on, so I think it's a good choice. Rostem is deprecated, so well, we don't have anything to do there. And next step, we have to, if we want to deploy our smart contract to the girly testnet, we have to set our MetaMask to this network. So well, we have to open MetaMask. I open it here. All right. Here's my basic MetaMask. If you don't know how to install MetaMask on Brave, I will put a video on top of this so you can learn. It's very quick. So after you download MetaMask, etc., you have here the Ethereum mainnet. All right, uh, very important. You have to come here to show test networks and you, you have to put on. That's because Girly is already configuring our wallet. So you can go here, all right, I have some network here and girly test net girly test network here we are now we have girly set it on our metamask girly test network if you have some problem to find or whatever you can always use chain list for example you came here girly you can put here you can put test net and here we are so you connect your wallet and you try to to set it but by default remember girly is set it on your metamask so well, what do we need now? We need to have a little bit of money because if we want to deploy a smart contract to this Ethereum testnet network, we have to have a little bit of money, fake money. So well, we can come back here to the documentation and we can click here about girly faucet. Yeah, it's a good option. So girly uh, authenticated faucet. So we came here, we copy our address and we came here and we paste our address and give me one ether oh that's good yeah one ether hey hey they say they cannot uh, why not you don't link to support services why social network mm. it's only two people like this two people dot eth Oof. Oh my gosh, that is rude, eh? That is rude, 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 rude. How can we do this? Let me think a little bit. Well, magic. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do it with the girly one. They need a, you know, a ATH domain. So well, girly, thanks for everything, you know, but. So you know what? It's time to Sepolia. Yeah, Sepolia time. So we came here to to the documentation. We have here Sepolia. We copy here Sepolia. We put it here, Sepolia. Okay, testnet, perfect. First of all, connect wallet. All right. Metamask. Connect. Perfect. Connect. Done. Second, up to Metamask. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we have here a green thing, so add to MetaMask, this first first one. And MetaMask is gonna say, hey, do you want to change and switch your thing, your network, and you say allow? Yes, allow, this is the chain ID, perfect. Approve, switching, switch network, perfect. 
my advice every you, you should always take take care about when you use metamask and when you go to any web page or whatever you always have to be very careful i'm doing this because i'm kind of crazy and my wallet is kind of empty so hey but he, this page is very very good so you know but in other pages or exchanges or the five parts always be careful all right now we have here the sepolia mm -hmm. perfect zero sepolia so what do we need to deploy to this ethereum testnet called sepolia we have to have a little bit of money so we come here again and we click sepolia faucet let's see how it is oh my gosh no ens name oh my gosh i think it's gonna happen the same we're gonna have the same problem oh gosh uh, broken glass broke broke and i think that's all no next oh dun, dun, dun. verify all right here's the moment okay 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 please wait please wait oof oof let's see this is the moment oh my gosh <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is kind of crazy. Well, I'm gonna go to the code. Meanwhile, I'm gonna let this Nyan cat doing their dance and the fly thing. Um, I will talk a little bit about the, yeah, about the code. It's gonna be fast. This part of the code, I don't know if you know, hey, what is Yao Me? What is Yao? What is this? I have another video explaining how we made this. I'm going to put on top of this video. This is the Solidity code, you know, the Solidity part. We have here the compile part and we have here the deploy one. So right now we are deploying to the virtual machine, the local one, to test our smart contract and etc. So now we have to change it to injected provider to MetaMask. And when I click MetaMask, this smart contract is gonna metamask is gonna be open and you're gonna ask me hey do you want to deploy this contract and you will click yes and poof the magic is gonna happen but we need a, a, to have a little bit of money oh all this money um i don't know i hope everything goes well but i think i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna pause the video and <gasps> oh my gosh seems like it's, it's done it's done let's see and what happened I don't know what happened. Eh? Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Seems like nothing happened. It's kind of sad or what? I'm kind of activity. No. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna stop the. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I will see if the money came. I don't know in five minutes and after that we can continue with the video <laughs> oh my gosh this is crazy all right guys i was uh, i found this page okay i was searching on internet like sepolia faucet and now i found this sepolia po faucet the point is you put your address and they say that you start meaning so i'm meaning some sepolia so i do my stuff whatever and i came back again and right now i have uh well zero zero dot zero five three sepolia ethereum oh gosh so well i think i they say minimum claim reward all right zero zero one five so i think i'm enough i'm done to do it so i'm gonna stop meaning and claim i don't know what is gonna happen i'm like let's see and target address yeah that's my address my six two three six two three perfect i'm a human okay please click each image containing a cat with short hair Poof. okay short hair i think yeah okay that was easy i'm a human yeah yeah i, I am uh, yeah verify all right perfect claim claim rewards okay the photo is now processing your claim oh Oof. 
0.0.05 Sepolia Ethereum. Claim transaction has been confirmed. Block. All right, sounds very good. Let's see the block. Sepolia Ethereum scam. Okay, 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 and yes, yes, that's the method. So remember, if you're going to Sepolia Faucet PK910, that's the place. Yes. So now we have our money in our wallet. I can close this. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Yeah, thank you too. All right, we have the Sepolia money here. So what do we have to do now? We have to deploy our smart contract to this Ethereum testnet network, this Sepolia one. So how we made that? We have the code. So we have to go to deploy. We have to choose MetaMask here's our wallet and we have to click deploy deploy metamask is gonna be open so all right so if you want to deploy you have to pay 0 0.003 zero oof I super have that money hey where is that okay confirm and yeah I think now we're gonna have our creation of Yao Ming pending yeah it's creating we're gonna have our, our smart contract Yao Ming token on the ethereum testnet sepolia yeah and ready it's already done it's done so we can click here we can see okay succeed the transaction hash from my wallet Yao Ming blah blah Here's the ID of the Yao Ming. We can copy this. We can go, for example, so Ether Scan. Yeah. Sepolia Testnet. Let's see. All right. Here's the creator and the creator address. No, no, no. What is the name? creation from transaction hash from my wallet Yao Ming here we are Yao Ming perfect the contract ID is this one bloop, 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 bloop. so for example well if we copy here and we go into metamask and we have we click on import token we put it here or address we have Yao 18 decimals at custom token. I have my wallet has 20 Yao. Yes. So now you can transfer, you can do whatever you want. You can play with it. And for example, I'm going to copy my address. If we go in here and we, for example, we ask, hey, how many Yao does this wallet has? Poof, my wallet. And they say this wallet has 20 Yao and with 20 Yao with 18 decimals. Perfect. We did it. We have our, our token on the blockchain. That's perfect. And the same, if you want to validate the, the contract, you have to flatten it. It's like this code. You have to put it on, but you made it with this tool. Okay. In few videos, in, I will put a card on the other video that we work with that. So you can click it and you can check that part. So you only have to copy the flat code and you came here to the this part. All right. And Yao Ming contract. And you can verify and publish. So in that case, nobody going to have the same contract as you. You put single file. You put the compiler. If the compiler version is. Well, in this case, the idea is always always to have this one 084 that my advice well in that case is 07 so we put here 07 we put MIT because it's MIT and you continue oh well we can click here and you have to pay here to paste all the code Oh, that's not the code. The code is the flat code, this one. So you copy here and you paste here. And at the end, you only have to 
show that you are not a robot and verify and publish. If you have any doubt of any situation with this, just put it on the comments and I will try to help you. Always try to check the compiler version. My advice, always compile the Solidity file, this file, with this number. So you don't have any other problem here. You put here, zero, poof. 0.8.4 that's the best that that my, that is my advice so well that's all for today we have a token on the testnet block uh, yeah the ethereum testnet sepolia blockchain we have a token there we can transfers we can prove any of these any of these uh, methods so i think that helps you if you have any question you know just put it and i will try to i will try my best to answer you well Big hug and enjoy your day. Bye.